Excel Guys. Stand by. It's Duel and Excel Guys. Mama. It's Duel and Excel Time. Hi from Highline Community College. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. I'm joined by. Excel is fun. Mike Gervin from Excel is fun. This is conditional formatting for cells with formulas. Our episode 175. All right, so here's what we have. We have a bunch of cells. Most of these cells are just numbers, but there's a few random formulas thrown in. And of course, I can do control uh, grav accent, accent igu, and you can see them there, right? Or I could go up to home, find and select I have to tell you, I always used to use go to special formulas. And I was doing a seminar the other day. Someone said, Why are you doing that when you can just choose formulas? I'm like, What? Oh, oh. I've never seen formulas there. Selects all the formula cells, and then bam, they're highlighted. But this is not conditional formatting. If I would come here and change this from a formula to just a number, uh, it does not update. So, eh, no score for that. Mike, let's see what you have. Woohoo! Well, uh,. I'm just going to cheat, and, and since I have Excel 2013, and there's a great feature. Oh, yeah, conditional formatting, but I'm going to go down to new rule, or the keyboard is Alt-H-L-N. And now, instead of down arrow like I always do, I'm going to hit page down and then tab. Use formula to determine which cells, and right here I'm just going to say, hey, is it a formula? And hopefully I'm typing. I so depend on the formulas in the cells for their little drop down, but I hope that's correct. And then the first cell here is B2, so I'm going to say B2, close parentheses. Notice that is a relative cell reference, so as the formula gets copied down and over, it will move relatively. And I'm going to add format like whatever. How about yellow? Click OK, click OK, and boom. Now if I come over here for and say equals 7 times 8, boom, it works. All right, I guess I cheated because I have Excel 2013. 2000, yeah, no one, who has Excel 2013? His formula, that's brand new. Oh, oh but wait a second. 16 is already out All and right. it's awesome. All right. So yeah. there's two okay. versions. There's still half the world using Excel 2010, and his formula was not a function in Excel 2010. Uh, it will not, not work. So if you have Excel 2010 and you need a conditional format, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do Alt F11, insert module, and then type this function has formula, and then just give it any kind of variable. This is a, uh, we're going to pass it a cell reference. Has formula is equal to my cell dot has formula uh, equal to true. All right, so this is a range. Uh, this is a property of that range. It is true if there's a formula in there, and then we're checking to see if it's true, and that's passing it back to the function. So now I should be able to come out here and say equal has formula. I learned Whoa. I, I learned from Mike that you always want to test your formulas in conditional cool. formatting out to the side before you try and build them. All right, Whoa. So true, 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 bam, 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 it's working, all right? And then we're going to do this. What was your sh keyboard shortcut? Alt 57 letters. <laughs> Alt H O D N. It's just Alt O D, man. No, no, it's because then you have to hit Alt N to get to new. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am still not. I'm still. I'm living in Excel 2003, man. It's Alt O D. What are you talking about? Equal has formula. Man, you know we. I missed last year, so we, we do this uh, every November, and I I was sick last year. I didn't come out to Seattle, and unfortunately. Uh, you know, so it's been two years since I've been live here at Highline Community College with Mike, and he has grown so much using these new Excel 2013 shortcut keys. Oh! What the heck? No, but I mean, you were always Alt O D. I except I, I, for Alt H L N uses one less key than Alt O D uh, Alt N. Okay, here we go. I here get. We go. <laughs> <laughs> Equal three times of that, and bam. Whoa! All right. There we go. Well, you know, I don't know why you need conditional formatting for formulas. Just using go to or home, find, and select uh, formulas, and then highlighting the cell should be good. But if you need something live, uh, then either equal is formula. Or, 2013 or 16. Yeah, and then earlier than that, uh, rock out a little VBA here. 
one line function for has formula. All right. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun. All right. It's Dueling Excel time.